Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. Welcome to my channel. I am uh, a neuroanesthesiologist and also I published around 22 research articles. So I can call myself a researcher and uh, my LinkedIn profile and Google Scholar profile are there in the description. You can go through them if you have doubt. So I thought I would be a right person to react to this video which is done by Glockum Plecken on academic publishing. In this video he has done a very good job and he has made uh, a very important fact uh, about the uh, high impact factor journals. So at the end so, of the video I would be giving my personal opinion and insights about the high impact factor journals and the kind of uh, subscription fees and etc which is going on in the present uh, uh, circumstances and society. So follow the video till the end to understand the hidden facts about the uh, journals and uh, the subscription fees. Hey man, how's it going? Oh great, I just had a paper published. Dude, congrats, that's awesome. It was in a pretty prestigious journal too. Oh wow, they probably pay you pretty well for that. Yeah, wait, what? The, the journal, they published your paper, they must have paid you pretty well for it, right? Oh, well, no, the, the journal doesn't pay you any money. Yeah, but they're, they're using your paper. Yeah, so? Well, like if you spent years writing a book, you, you sell the book, you, you get money for it. Oh, well, I do get paid to do the research. You know, I get grant funding. Oh, so the journal that publishes your paper, they give you grant money to actually do the research. Uh, no, the grant money comes from the government. So the journal doesn't pay for the research or the content that they're publishing. Are they some kind of non-profit? Oh no, the largest academic publishing companies make like $20 billion a year. Really? Yeah, their profit margins are like 40%, which is higher than Google. <laughs> so why don't they pay you to publish your paper? Well, I get something much more valuable than money. What? Prestige. Well, why can't you have both? Because it's not about the money. So, hope you understood the essence of the uh, comedy behind this video. So, he's trying to say that the journals are making huge profits and uh, uh, none has been given to the authors or reviewers. That is true and uh, I have published 22 articles and I know clearly that uh, the authors or reviewers are not going to get any kind of money from the journal and uh, we don't have any problem with that absolutely we don't have any problem with that uh, but the thing is i have one serious doubt to ask to all the high impact factor journals the main uh, reason why the journals are present is to advance the science i hope everyone agrees to this this is the basic and logic if you raise the subscription fees and if you make all the very important articles which can create an impact in patient care a paid article then how will it reach the people so this is a very important uh, uh, problem that we are facing i am a doctor practicing in india and uh, i don't have access to multiple journals like how uh, people studying in uh, or working in uh, uh, usa in uk and other countries have so, uh, so I will find an article in PubMed, I'll get the abstract, but when I try to get into the details, I might not be able to access like me, many people are there. So, if the journals are uh, trying to decrease the subscription fee, that will actually help many people in uh, countries like India, Sri Lanka, Nepal and other uh, places to get access to the scientific material because the whole purpose of the journal being here is to advance the science not to do business okay i understand to sustain in the market they have to do business so they need to balance between both i feel so now i feel the balance is tilting more towards the business side so what i feel is if the if the balance is maintained well and uh, that would uh, help many young researchers and many doctors to access the scientific uh, publications and it will benefit the patients and uh, so so finally, the thing uh, I would like to conclude with is that I would request the journals, high impact factor journals and uh, because most of the good research goes to high impact factor journals which can actually impact the advancement of science and I request them to decrease the subscription fees and also decrease the amount of money which we have to pay per article and also try to uh, 
give uh, open access for some of the articles which will really impact the patient care which needs to be decided by the doctors which are a part of the particular journal so that will really help in advancement of the science and coming to the business part i feel uh, you can try to balance between both so that is my personal opinion and uh, uh, please put in your comments in the comment section uh, this is a very serious topic and uh, we need to address this so please like the video and, and share this video to many people so that the message will reach to multiple people thank you very much and uh, this is dr dhiraj masapu logging off and as usual